while I'm at home working, I need to make sure my workspace caters to a more creative, inspiring, and streamlined process. I'm the Hippie Hacker, and today you're going to help me transform my desk to be a more efficient setup. developer and content creator, so I need to create a setup that is functional not only for coding, but creating. My initial goal was to only install cable management, but as I progressed through this project, I ended up adding a few upgrades along the way. Nothing was wrong with my old setup, and in fact, it worked perfectly fine. But the desktop that came with my desk just didn't match my overall aesthetic. So to make it prettier, I had wrapped it in a wood vinyl contact paper, which at first glance seemed to do the trick. But over time, the contact paper had started to peel and chip, and it just felt like it was time to say goodbye. The overall cable management was mediocre. I had installed these wire carriages, but they inevitably got overrun by all my cables. The hub that I was using was a tier grade USB-C hub that cost me maybe $40 or $50. It got the job done for the most part. However, the SD card and micro SD card slots didn't work, and it was just a pain to access most of the time. The overall wiring from this hub had created a spider web effect that eventually just made me give up on my cable management altogether. And there's nothing worse than a mess of cables that just throw off your groove. So the first step in this project was the deconstruction of my current desk. That includes removing everything, detaching my mounts, my cable carriages, and then the desktop itself. After I deconstructed, I got to work on my new desktop. I bought a six foot by three foot unfinished butcher block countertop from Ikea. I first had to stain it with Minwax's Ipswich wood stain, and then I sealed it with Watco's butcher block oil. And once it cured, I installed it to my desk frame. After the desk was put together, I then started my cable management. I was very picky about what surge protector I was going to use to power all my devices. I ended up buying this one from Belkin off Amazon. I love it because it gave an extra six plugs that could be used for the more bulky adapters. So I stuck it to my desk using this double-sided adhesive tape. At first I was worried how good the tape was going to hold up, but after applying it on, I knew it wasn't going to budge the slightest bit. So first let's go over a couple of the products that I'm going to be upgrading my setup with. First off, none of these products were gifted to me, but if you see something you would like to purchase, I'm going to have affiliate links down in the description to help out the channel. First off, we have the StarTech.com 4K triple monitor docking station. I'm not going to bore you by listing every port that's on this bad boy, so you can just see for yourself. To suspend the docking station, I bought this track elevation kit that is supposed to be for an under the desk keyboard. I ended up using only two of the brackets on my setup and it worked out just perfectly. Along with that, I bought these adhesive cable clips. The description said that these were upgraded cable clips, however, the adhesive on these are pretty mediocre. I basically used them to create an organized web underneath my desk, but at least it's better than my old wiring. Next up, I bought a power grommet. I liked this one because it didn't look cheaply made, it matched my aesthetic, and I liked the idea of being able to conceal it when I wasn't using it. To install it, we took an 80mm hole saw and drilled a hole through the desktop. I then slipped it in the hole and screwed it tight. Next, we have a USB 3.0 SD card adapter. I really got tired of connecting my hub to my laptop to just use my SD card. When in reality, every time I'm editing photos or videos, I'm sitting at my desk. So I stuck it underneath my desk and plugged it into my docking station. Lastly, the biggest working from home game changer for me is these USB hubs with power switches. There was often a time I was using my personal laptop that was connected to my hub, and the next time I had to use my work laptop, I had forgotten to disconnect the plugged in devices. Now with these hubs, I don't have to disconnect my devices, and instead, I just press a button and it shuts off the power to the port. Overall, 
Well, I have noticed an increase in my productivity with these new desk changes. The ease I now have when creating new content is amazing. I can now switch between my work and personal laptop with the push of a button. The butcher block desktop keeps to the aesthetic that I had really been trying to pull with the contact paper. And the best part is, I know these all will last for years to come. I think my next upgrade would sadly be my monitors. Not that I have any issue with them, and in fact, I think I would be pretty sad to get rid of them. But they lack display ports, so I still have to plug in my monitor directly to my laptop instead of the docking station. So if you have recommendations for monitors that have display ports that you absolutely love, leave a comment down below and tell me what one's your favorite. So guys, if you love this setup upgrade, then you're gonna love a couple of the projects I have coming up. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and also hit the bell icon to be notified for when my next video drops. And I will see you all next time. Bye.